What's good with the collective, man? Y'all know we back with another banger, another reaction. I appreciate everybody who been tapping in, running up, and subbing up. If you're new to the channel, please like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell so you always notified whenever we drop an upload. Man, y'all know we coming with about four videos a week. This is for entertainment purposes as well. Man, but I ain't gonna hold you. I would like to say I appreciate the collective. We've been having a lot of conversation in the comments, and conversation can change the world. In my opinion. Again, I also want to say, y'all need to check out that movie, uh, World Left Behind. I think that's what it is with Kevin Bacon. Um, yeah, the movie's a classic. Julia Roberts, movie's a classic, man. It's a whole lot they seen in that movie. I ain't going to spoil it for y'all, but it's a must watch. If y'all tapped in, y'all will like it. Especially if you're from the collective. I know y'all going to rock with it. But we're going to get right into this reaction, man. Let's go. God damn it. I asked for it. I've been asking for it. I got it. It's snowing in my neighborhood. It's snowing in Cali. Southern California got some snow. And plenty of it. It's beautiful here. It's coming down. I'm an untrained meteorologist reporting on the snow. I mean, it's in the streets. God damn. What the fuck is I told y'all there was something fucking out here. Holy shit. Shoot that motherfucker, dude! You gotta get in the open. Hit him! Hit that motherfucker! Dude, I think he fucking missed it. Nothing, so. Hey, first, y'all know we gotta start off the clips. Yeah, uh, clips gotta start off with some type of comedy. Not all the time, but we gonna throw some light in there sometimes. Did y'all see him mid fall though? He gonna learn today. He gonna learn. I, I had that happen to me. My first time when I was in Virginia. I was walking. Well, I wasn't walking. I was doing too much. And they kept telling me, like, bro, chill out. No, I didn't want to listen. Slipped. Bam. Knocked the wind out myself. Fell so hard, bro. Oh, my God. But, yeah. I've been there before. If you've been around the, you've been around the snow before, man, you, I'm sure you've dealt with the same thing. And as far as that second clip, how y'all feel? I think that was kind of capped. I think that one was kind of cap. I don't really necessarily believe that one, but y'all, y'all let me know what y'all believe in that one. I'm not a believer at all. Wiped down like the indigenous people in their history. Right. Well, they did it before, which is why it was so natural for them to do it to the indigenous. But the Tartarians were also their own people, like their own. Older, but you, their but, own but you're saying Putin was trying to release what's behind. Oh, the he ice wall. To tell us about the Tartarians. He wants to teach us about a lost history. He says, supposedly. No, going. I don't know if it's true. What everything that I'm saying though, they live behind the ice wall. That map. That's what's behind the other side of the ice wall. According to Putin. According to Putin. But there's so much. Like you have to read it. You have to look into. It. It's like I really can't go back. You really can't go into the website? Oh, it's called Yandex. Yandex. Let me see. And that's what it looks like, y'all. There you go. Yep, that's definitely it. Yandex. <laughs> there y'all go. Y'all have nothing to do. That's Google that. that. Google. And they're going to, and everybody's going to Google what? Tar Tararian's oh, Empire? Oh, yeah. You can go to Google that on Google, too, but you won't get all right, so you heard that. Now, I'm not saying it's real whatsoever, right? But could there be a possibility that that's the way it looks on the other side of that ice wall in Antarctica? Now, to me, if there's not anything on the other side of that ice wall, why do they guard it so much? Why is it not allowed to just explore and go out there and just see for ourselves what's over there? Why is it guarded so much? Now, like I said before, I'm not saying this is real, but look at all the intricate details. Look at this just city. Now, I know there's a lot of maps that do talk about cities underneath the ice caps and even on the other side of these ice caps. And there's even maps out there, which I am going to show one. So could these maps show beyond the ice wall? 
And also, are there passages where you could get beyond the ice barrier as well? So let me know what you think about Antarctica. And if there was an exploration that you could get on, would you go to Antarctica? When I first heard about Antarctica, man, I knew it was an area, I knew it was a place, but when I was in school, they always had taught that it was just ice, nothing out there. My uncle was the one that broke it down to me. He was like, did you know they got a treaty out there, man? All scientists from different areas can go, but like it's off limits to the public. And I was like, no, nah, I didn't know that. And I never dove deeper and I never really asked no more questions. But then as I started like doing my own research, I'll say within the last, like, I always been doing my own research. Don't get it twisted. But as far as Antarctica, searching that route, and that one I'll probably say I started looking at Antarctica probably top of this year. But yeah, I think it's other cities over there. We kind of seen that clip before, not that clear, but yeah, I'm a believer. It's land over there, earth flat, and we got other civilizations over there and past ice wall, in my opinion. Let's get it, starting a new series today, The Ocean is Space, part one. We're going to be speaking about dolphins, how in tune, wise, and powerful these beings are live amongst us. A lot of you know this, a lot of you don't. Dolphins actually are smarter than most humans, have a much larger neocortex, which means their brains operate at a higher, more advanced capacity than humans. Very in tune with energy and frequency waves. You can read a person's energy and current emotional states just by looking into their eyes. Dolphins actually hold memories of many past generations and they can speak telepathically with other dolphins. This may or may not be one of the reasons why it's illegal to contact wild dolphins. Because the possibilities of what we may discover connecting with dolphins may surprise us. Dolphins actually have a great amount of self-awareness, unlike any other animal. They're very aware of their own thoughts and emotions. If dolphins have all these capabilities and are so powerful, imagine exploring the other 90% of the ocean that hasn't been discovered. I can comment That's insane. I'm just gonna say this. If you haven't seen this movie, right here, go ahead and pop on Netflix and search up Leave the World Behind. And what makes this movie even worse is that Barack Obama and Michelle Obama helped produce this film. And it's like, hold on. What are y'all trying to tell us? Cause see, I don't need to pop on TikTok and now I'm seeing deer in front of a Statue of Liberty after I just got done watching this movie and they was doing the same damn thing. Like, what are y'all trying to say? Like, don't give me no symbolism. Don't sugarcoat nothing. Just let a brother know so I can leave. You know what I'm saying? Because if it's like that, then I need to bounce. Like, now. Go watch that movie, folks. Go watch that movie. I'm probably going to come out with a part two video tomorrow. But right now, go watch that movie. Go watch it. Man, let me say something. That movie got so much symbolism from the opening scenes to the end to the... Scenes where they actually having dialogue to the scenes where they don't have no dialogue. That movie got symbolism. And I also want, for those who have seen it, am my reaching with the scene with the brother and the sister? I'm not going to spoil the movie. But the scene with the brother and the sister. The brother got a shirt that says Obey. Remember how Obama had this campaign and it was like the Obey symbol kind of, but it, it said Hope at the bottom? Well, he had that shirt, the original shirt. It said Obey. The daughter had a shirt that said NASA. And am I reaching if I'm thinking that that's what it's telling some of one of the a thousand things in the movie that it was saying? Am I reaching if I say it was telling us to obey NASA? Am I tripping? Am I reaching? It was on the shirt. Son's shirt was right in front of us. The daughter's shirt was in the back. Am I tripping? I don't think I am, but spam it up in the comments if I am. Watch the movie, y'all find out. If you have watched it, let me know if I'm reaching or if I'm on point. If you felt the same thing. When the indigenous people here were teaching them how to run a country, and one of the most.
That book, I believe, in 2017, he actually went and bought it himself mm -hmm. to gift it to me. And did you know that you At the are time that eight? I was eight no, you, you had, had no, no idea. Clue. Did he tell you where you were eight? No. He, he just said, gave I you want that you book. To read this book. Two books actually: The Alchemist and Harvey. Do you have any doubt in your mind that he knew you were eight life path and gave no, that to you? He knew. He knew. He knew. He would often say things that I, you know, dismissed back then. Say things like, "You have no idea who you are. You don't even understand the power that you have." He would say stuff like that, and I'm mean, looking like. like crazy dude yeah right? like what are you talking about tell us a little bit about your spiritual evolution because you said you used to be very religious i'm assuming you still believe in god but maybe not i do believe in god but i think i'm more so spiritual than religious i don't believe in religion when did that switch happen? shift happened after he passed away after he passed away i think that i became even more interested in understanding his mind mm -hmm. and then i started like really paying attention to his books and i'm a youtube junkie mm -hmm. so i started looking into like dates and numbers and understanding chinese astrology and my personality and I'm like, mm -hmm. how is this possible when I'm reading this book? You know yourself, so of you course. know when something makes sense. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, holy shit, I'm reading it. It's telling me everything about myself. And I'm like, okay, what else? So it's like, that's kind of opened it up for me. If you live in a... Rest in peace, XXX and Tatiana, man. Transitioned way too soon, way too early. That's all I'm gonna say. Way ahead of his time. Ohio. Y'all need to y'all need to be very very aware of your surroundings. Right now, you guys are getting uh, warnings from the government too, saying that there is a terrorist alert. And in Texas, this is happening of uh, Russians saying they're going to have school bombings, which we know that's not the Russians. Why would they target schools? Only our own government does that. Theory, theory. That's a theory. But if you live in Ohio. Please, please, watch your children. No, you're, no children are allowed to walk alone. All right, please. According to the Attorney General, David Yost, sorry, Yost, 15,335 children, just children alone, have gone missing in 2023. Y'all know my heart, y'all know my heart. What I care for more than anything is our fucking children. Why and oh why is this not a political topic in America? Why is that 800,000 kids go missing and it's just glossed over? In Ohio, Ohio is an epicenter for this epidemic of children that gone missing I gotta ask this and as as Americans as people you need to ask this your damn self I know we can be conspiracy theorists with fear mongers all right fuck all that bullshit facts shit that happens and things the people do not ask answers to or for why are we number one why are we number one out of every country in the land of milk and honey and opportunity, number one in missing children. Not runaways. No, no, that's its own category. This is children that are missing, not found. Two, you ever, they're talking about digital money, CBDC. Why do none of these politicians ever bring up, you know, laws or amendments that will guarantee the privacy and security of overreach from the government dealing with a CBDC with our new money because it's coming it's coming but why don't they ever talk about that oh because they distract us with Ukraine and, and Israel Palestine you know you see why these distractions are because they got the Christians thinking they're gonna get raptured out of here oh shit that makes more sense as a sign up now too to say that's how I want answers and the American people should want the fucking same but no you deal with the fear where did you get these ideas? I guess the evidence. But does it pay you to say that more? I mean, uh, if I paid you to say the other way, would you walk backwards? I don't walk backwards. Well, then, you know, it's kind of silly. I never walk backwards. It's kind of silly. You read a newspaper and you look on TV and then you come and you see me and you want to call me what they told you. And you know, you know that 99% of that newspaper is for money, not the truth. You know that. When they're selling on the UPI and they're making it all over the world, there's a lot of bucks passing hands LA Times. 
When the district attorney puts the newspaper man right in his office, and then the judge comes back and says, where'd you get your source of information? And he says, I won't tell, because he was getting it from the district attorney's office to start with. But they'll make it look like he was getting it from my side. Then they'll put the gag orders on me and say, I'm incompetent. I knew what happened. I could have defended myself, and I could have walked out of the courtroom. But they didn't want to do that, because Nixon would have lost his thought. I'm just looking at a picture. Man, when I was 16, and my uncle told me, when I, all the stuff I heard about Charles Manson, and my uncle broke down, really, the story? And kind of broke down kind of more so in depth of him. And then I'm seeing videos like this. Make me have to dive deeper back down that rabbit hole, because it's kind of like, well, he was the first person to kind of tell me what he told me. And I'm seeing and hearing kind of what he told me. And I'm just like, wait a minute. Yeah, that one, like I said, there's things that I still be ignorant or naive or just sleep to. Nothing's wrong with that though. That's what make, that's what make me, that's what, that's what makes me who I am. I ain't even afraid of doing it. I'm going to just keep going. If I don't know, I don't know. What's wrong with learning it today or tomorrow? Rather than not knowing it at all. But yeah, that's, that's, that's one that I am personally like uh, yeah, I'm 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 interested in that in that story, Charles Manson's story, how he was. I'm interested in that one, very. Ain't saying nothing with you, just looking at this picture with my dicky family. Ooh, looks like division. Do you do you see division? Like one percent and ninety nine, a weird type of division. They pretend like we are in the light, but it's kind of kind of creepy. Look at all that background. It kind of looks like an underground world. Creepy, creepy, creepy. Another really cool thing. If you happen to go up to Google, type Amanda in the Bible, you might find something crazy about Amanda's in the Bible. I can't move my face because they'll come for me for saying things about that place and the word that's right here. But look straight below me. You see that b, -b, b word? Look at the other b word. The b, -b, 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 -b word. Oh, la 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 la. Ba la 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 la. See this kind of c word? The c word right there. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense when you're talking about some people. Hope you understand about the people. Ba la 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 la. Ba la 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 la. Ba la 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 la. Ba la 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 la. If you're annoyed, it's okay. I was annoyed too making that. But it seems the only way I can get that out. 99% sure. 99% sure. About 1%. About 1% of some bullshit. Okay, there's like 10 more of these. And I promise they will not be this obnoxious. I promise. The laws, what he calls the five laws. are. I told y'all that movie got symbolism. Left and right. When you watch it. You will not be upset when you get to the end. You won't. You won't. Trust me. Those are the basic description of the structure of existence. So number one is you exist. There's nothing you can do to change that. You can change your form, but you cannot change the fact that you exist. The reason for that, very stupidly simply, is you can't become non-existent because by definition, non-existence doesn't exist. That's its definition, to not exist. Therefore, that which does exist just exists, that's its quality, and cannot become that which doesn't exist, because there's no such thing as non-existence, by definition. So that's number one. Number two is everything is here and now, which basically means space and time are an illusion, a projection of our consciousness. Everything actually exists all at once. It's all accessible right here. You just have to change your frequency in order to access it, because that's how they're separated. They're separated by frequency. Just in the same way that TV programs are separated by frequency, even though they may all be running at the same time. Uh, number three is the one is the all, the all are the one, <clears throat> which means there is only one thing, and everything that seems different is made out of that one thing because there's nothing else to make anything from. Number four is what you put out is what you get back. Sometimes people on Earth translate this as the law of attraction. And <clears throat> something important to say about that, because even though it's not incorrect, to say that, well, you have to be the vibration of a thing to attract it. The idea of the way it's usually stated here is, in my opinion, incomplete. And people are left thinking, I have to learn 
what that vibration is to attract the things that I need in life. That I disagree with. You are already giving off the vibration because that's your natural core vibration is to attract what you need in life. If those things aren't manifesting, it's not because you're not the vibration of the attraction. It's that you are blocking them from coming. You're stopping the vibration from bringing them to you with negative and fear-based beliefs. So it's not an issue of having to learn to attract. It's an issue of having to learn to stop blocking what you're attracting naturally. And law number five is everything changes except the laws. Those are the structure that don't change, but everything else changes. Perspective, experience, beliefs, it all changes and it's changing constantly. What if I told you the whole concept of white versus black was created solely for the purpose of separation and that the real individuals behind the president, behind Congress, the hidden hand is also melanated nine ether people also. What if I told you that? The individuals you see in the illustration behind me I refer to as the black nobility. These are the original 13 families, okay? These are melanated, carbonated individuals. Everything we've ever been told, okay, in reference to who we believe the enemy is, so to speak, has been solely for the purpose of distraction, okay? Now, again, there are male nullivant uh, Caucasian individuals that did wholeheartedly embrace that role, okay, that they were set to play. But this actually derived from our own melanated people selling us out look at some of the old relics from Europe, you'll see that these individuals were black people, okay, that they commemorated, that they highly revered. You could find a lot of the real ancient relics in the Vatican. Um, they had statues and all kinds of things to commemorate the black nobility. 13 families all have the blood of the black draconian. Um, the individual you see to my left and the illustration behind me is referred to as Tarnush or Halal, okay? This was a black draconian. This is who Ra Hayes making reference to when he say they look like us, but they not us. These are reptilians, okay? And oftentimes they have the pointed ears and a widow's peak as a genetic uh, trait. Free the elder god, Dr. Malachi Z. York, he spoke on these entities in the, uh, in the holy tablets, okay? This is a depiction, okay, of how these individuals look. They're reptilian, they are shapeshifters, and they are black. They are normal melanated. This is a depiction of how some of them may look. They look like us, but they're not us. Here's another example, okay? Black reptilian, black draconian. They figured if they create, if they could create an enemy for us, then we wouldn't uh, think about them. Okay, and that's why one of their names, code names, basically is the Hidden Hand. They don't, they're the biggest secret that most people don't talk about. Tarnush is the son of Marduk. Okay, Tarnush wanted some form of cosmic dominion, and when his grandfather Anu Anu didn't uh, grant that uh, his request, he he just completely went disagreeable. And there were others that carried that same ideology. They basically wanted dominion and wanted to have some sort of power, and they wanted to cause chaos and wreak havoc because of that. As I told you in the past, these archonic entities thrive on your low frequency uh, emotions like grief, guilt, anxiety, and things of that nature, fear, okay? So they can't really operate in a 528 hertz frequency, which is love. So it's important that, that uh, you embrace this green Ethereum cosmic energy that's re-emerging, okay? That's the, uh, the essence of the heart chakra energy that's going to come back. And once we fully embody that and we eliminate all racism, all hatred, and we just fully walk in a heart chakra, okay, and follow the laws of my eye, which a heart being light as a feather, which you're forgetting about anything that you've been taught through the indoctrination process in regards to the simulation, then you will fully ascend and tap into your crown chakra and fully reap the benefits of a Kundalini awakening. You can't do it with hatred. Okay, so I'm um, contrary to what you want to believe. Um, you want to have an enemy and things of that nature. It's understandable, but your biggest enemy is yourself, and your biggest enemy is the uh, indoctrination and a false technology that you've been told. Okay, this also came from Yakub. Okay, remember he was the author of technology, and a lot of this illustration that we still follow and stems from that. If you follow in a concept of hatred or anything along the lines of that, then you are uh, actually going off the teachings and the ideologies of technology, which were orchestrated by Yakub, the scientist. All right. This is one, some of the docu doctrines that he came up with on the island of Patmos. OK, Yakub actually was the one that orchestrated and came up with the enemy for us to have some form of uh, adversities with. OK, that, that's, that we can actually see to camouflage the 13 families, the, uh, the black nobility that actually been puppet, puppet master in this whole thing thing controlling this whole matrix operating this whole simulation behind the veil remember the meek shall inherit the earth and those who really uh, hone into the true primordial self will reap the benefits of ascension to the fifth dimension okay you have to just go inward you have to tap in with self and you have to realize that everything you have been taught this whole time has been an illusion to create hatred in you and to create uh, some form of uh, diversity and separation amongst the people on this planet this is important it says your true work and life is to keep 
uh, lifting your frequency because everything in your life comes as a result of the vibration you are on. So if you want a vibration of hatred, you want a vibration of revenge and things of that nature, you're going to completely go through what's called the infinity cycle where you're going to completely do incarnations over and over and over again. The trick to breaking out of this matrix is actually going into the heart chakra so you can then go to the higher dimensional planes of existence because unfortunately these lower realms, you get stuck in the lower realms and the lower ethers if you stay in those frequencies. Peace, love, and light to everyone. Yaku, man, Big Head Genius was like one of the first stories I ever like jumped into. Like I always was like tapped in just without knowing if that made sense. But when I actually knew I was tapped in and I started like just going to find out new things and wanted to pick up new things, Yaku was the first, that was like the first story that really got me. That was the first one. I had to be like 17 years old, I'm talking about like 20, 2010. Like, yeah, I was, I was young and yeah, that was the first one. And I was curious. One of the first rappers I ever heard speak on Yaku. Jay-Z, man, that was the first one. And sometimes he be saying some things in his music where, yeah, where he kind of, some of y'all gonna say he, he, he come about it in a, in a devilish way. Maybe. And then sometimes he say certain things. He telling the truth though. He telling something. But, yeah, that's neither here nor there. What I'm saying is the message. The message was, like, yeah, he was one of the first rappers I ever heard bring Yaku, the big head genius, up. He was, for me, might be different for you, though. What in the ever-living fuck is that? Oh, my God, that's so scary. What is that? I'm not even tripping. Oh, that's so scary. Oh my God. Like, I'm not tripping, right? That's, what is that? That's an off sky right now. I think this is it. I think this is the aliens. Seven and 11 are like soulmates. Those two numbers get along so fucking well together. I always recommend the sevens and elevens marry each other. People with elevens, have a lot of charisma. There's a couple ways to come at this. If someone's born on the 11, 29 to a 9 is 11, or if someone's like Logan Paul adds up to a 11. 4, 10, 1995 adds up to 29 to a 9, 11. Sevens are the smartest. I noticed the women born on the 7, 16, 1, 6, 7, 25, 2, and 5, 7, they're fucking smart. They're really smart. Joe Rogan born on the 11. It's not the top podcaster in the world. The guy who lies and claims he's the top podcaster, Logan Paul, and he's born 4 10, 1995, adds up to an 11. There's a guy on Kick. Who's the top guy on Kick? He's born on the 11th. Shocking. Absolutely shocking. Kick starts with K. K is the 11th letter. Another big name out there, Candace Owens. Someone who came from nowhere. Born on the 29th, 2 9 11. That's how she has the mouthpiece. One person I consider the most charismatic of all time, Barack Obama. Born 4 8 19 61, adds up to 29, 2 9 is 11. Barack Obama's name, 11 letters. He became president in 2009, 2009, adds up to an 11. What do you think? This shit's all coincidence? So this young lady and see that's the crazy thing you don't even know what's at the bottom of that ocean you down there man you down there swimming look, look, what, what happens when it goes from from where it's at and it comes up so let's say people are at the beach or something and they catching waves on a surfboard or something like that and then them hands just want to because it's a hand i seen hands multiple what happens when they want to yank somebody down because it's hungry what happened then and then the government got to explain to us like, oh, there's this new creature down there. This new, this new type of fish at the bottom of the ocean. Like, what, bro? Come on. That, I don't know. That look like, it looked like venom in the water or something, but just heck of bigger. That's what it looked like to me. I don't know. And shout out to Gigi, man. Gigi33. Dude be coming with it, don't he? He be coming with it. Gets beat up by her boyfriend for the fourth time. She gets mad and then she calls her brothers. One of the brothers already has a case pending and he got a lot of priors on him. 
So once she calls him, he goes over there. But the other brothers told him, hey, man, leave her alone because she going to get right back with him. But the other brother was not trying to hear none of that. So he went over there, beat the boyfriend up so bad that he pressed charges on him. Now that he added another case to his case, seemed like he going to be in a whole lot of trouble. So they said one day the young man called his mom and asked where his sister was at. And what do you know? His sister was out of town with the man that was putting his hands on her. So the brother is furious. Like, mom, are you serious right now? The mother told him, your brothers told you not to get in that girl business. So he says, okay, I'm going to keep my cool. Give me her number. The mother says, don't call her phone starting no mess. She out of town with that boy. He said, mama, I ain't going to start no mess. Give me her number. The mother gives the number. The young man then calls his sister. She did not pick up for a few days. He calls his mother again. Mom, why she not picking up the phone? So the mother said, let me three wear and give her a call. The mother calls a few times. The daughter does not pick up. Couple days go by. He calls his mother again. Mom, try to call her again. This time the mother calls. She's successful. The daughter picks up the phone. But this time she sounds very irritated and she's back home. So she didn't know the brother was on the phone and she was kind of getting a little mouthy with her mother. So the brother said, hey, quit talking to my mom like that, but I see you back with dude. I'm going to need you to put some money on my books or help me get out of this situation. The young lady told her brother that she called for protection. I ain't got nothing to do with that. So the young man started calling her out her name. B, what you mean you ain't got nothing to do with it? You called me. She says, but that don't mean you had to put your hands on him. Telling him to take accountability. Now he is furious. Blood is boiling. The mother is trying to calm both of them down, but they having words. So the other brother overhears his mom having a conversation with both of his siblings. So he says, mom, let me see the phone. Let me see the phone. The mother gives the phone. The brother says to the brother, I told you not to go over there. She was going to get right back with dude. You didn't listen. The sister get offended, calling her brother out his name. Then tell the brother that is with the mother, I sent my boyfriend over there to beat your A. He says, B, you is not stupid. He said, on my life, you better not try it. The sister gets mad and hangs up the phone. Now the brother in jail was like, man, bro, this is crazy. How she turning on her own family like this? The brother said, I told you, man, I told you not to go over there. She going to get right back with the dude, but you didn't listen. So next thing you know, the menace was running out, so he couldn't talk to his family no more. So in closing, the brother told the brother that was in jail, I'm going to put some money on your books tomorrow. He said, OK, and they hung up. 30 minutes after the brothers hung up, they heard a big bang on the door. Doom, 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 doom. The mother looks out the window because she thinking it's the police. So the son don't know what's going on, so he's startled. So he runs to go grab his weapon and then runs towards the door and asks, who the F is at the door? Next thing you know, you hear his sister screaming out, B, open this door. You got me effed up. So once he heard that, he put the weapon in his pants and opened the door. And to his surprise, his sister and her boyfriend gets the swinging on him. Now, all three of them in the hallway fighting. The sister is grabbing him, scratching him, but he hitting her like a grown man. And he's also beating up the boyfriend as well. So next thing you know, as they fighting, the brother's shirt get ripped. The mother runs in the kitchen, grabs a frying pan to try to hit the boyfriend. And the boyfriend hit her so hard that she got knocked out. So the brother swung the sister all the way to the ground. And then she realized that he had a weapon on his hip. She screamed out to her boyfriend, Bae, he got a weapon, he got a weapon. The dude panicked and whips out his weapon, but he whipped it out so fast that he dropped it. Once the brother seen that he had a weapon, he jumped up quick and grabbed his weapon. Her boyfriend still panicking runs to grab his weapon. The sister is on the ground screaming her brother's name, don't do it. He tells him, don't pick it up. The boyfriend picks it up anyway. Next thing you know, four shots went off. Dow, 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 dow. Now the girl is screaming because she see her boyfriend on the floor gasping for air. And her brother is screaming, no, no, no. 
The mother is still kind of waking up. She don't know what's going on. The girlfriend runs to the boyfriend, A, pulls out her phone, calls 911 to try to save his life. The brother comes over to her and grab her aggressively. Like, why the f did you do this, man? Why did you do this? Why didn't you just stay home? Why you ain't just stay home? And she's screaming out, you going to jail, you going to jail. The mom wakes up and she looks and see what's going on. Now she is in complete shock. Her hands is on her head. Then she put one hand on her chest and falls to the couch and just stares at the young man that's gasping for air. So the young man goes to the boyfriend and says, bro, why did you grab it? Why did you try to grab it? Then next thing you know, the young man stops breathing. The young man did not know what to do, but he knew it was over with for him. He stayed. They rushed the other young man to the hospital and he didn't make it. Now the brother that unalived her boyfriend went to prison because he was a convicted felon and he wasn't supposed to be around weapons. Now even though he wasn't in the wrong and he did everything to protect himself, because he was a convicted felon, he was not going to win the case because he wasn't supposed to have weapons. Now she becomes the black sheep of the family. Nobody cares about it and nobody cares to talk to her. Now here's the shocking part. This story is somewhat true. Can y'all tell me what parts y'all think is true and what's not true? So now that we all know that I took a story and enhanced it and made a better story out of it, make sure y'all follow for more content like this and let me know what y'all think in the comments. And if you want me to create more stories like this, type in story time in the comments and I got you. But to all the cool people, I'll see you in the next video. You remember how it showed? Now I don't know how I feel about that one. I thought the whole thing was real. He gonna sit up here and get all the, give us all that and then say, y'all y'all tell me which ones. Man, come on, bro. Come on, bro. I ain't feeling that one. That sister crazy. It, 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 my, my sister know not to play like that. If you call us, you don't go back. But I have heard stories like that before where people go do something for their sister and then the sister go right back to the dude and then you gotta go sit down. Yeah, that's wild. I told you this, like some of those old temples used to be what's called vamanas, AKA temples that would charge up. That's one of the ways they would charge up. It would move faster, right? Now you see that, right? Some of these old temples used to be flying airships. You'll look at it and like, no, that don't fly. That previous video you just saw was showing you like one of the generators that would be used for one of these flying ships called a Vamana. Now, if you look at some of them, right, they just look like temples, right? But you see how big those towers are, right? Think of those as like the power lines, right? Imagine that's like the power lines for the ship. And at the top, the tower point would conduct ether to power this and move it around. That's why you see shapes like this, because sacred geometry shapes uh, generate energy. That's why you see the same thing on cathedrals. They generate energy. Some of those right there used to turn like a pepper shaker to generate energy. Here's another example. Those look like giant spark plugs, don't they? Some of these, like I said, they gather ether. They have sacred geometry all over it. Look at it. It looked like a sacred geometry shape. You wouldn't think a whole civilization could fit in there, huh? Right? Just like Nibiru. Nibiru is a ship, a civilization ship. Same concept here. So they tell you when they made these, they used a hammer and chisel. Does that look like a hammer and chisel to you? Hell no. They use frequency and sound to uh, carve into rocks. Some of these places, like I said, they would generate energy. That looks like a whole energy gathering. Think of a roulette table. That's what that thing would do. See what I'm saying? They bit a hammer and chisel. For real. For real. Come on now. Be for real. Literally. A, ha a hammer and chisel? Really? How long would it take to chisel that? Be for real. You know what I'm saying? Be for real. <laughs> Some of these, like I said, are old generators, man. You look at it, right? Oh, no, they ain't no... They got stuff like this built into walls and underground. You remember how I, I told you they build over civilization? Every great reset? Wow. Mm. You'll be very surprised to know these civilizations were super advanced. How, why do some of them look burnt? It's almost like a laser burnt some of a, the buildings. Hmm. That's interesting. It's not like they had watchtowers or anything. You know, where they would have castles and stuff in America or, you know, 
like the, the video I showed you in Atlanta with the tower that mm, something's telling me something's telling me that wasn't built with no hammer and chisel. <laughs> it's crazy. People could build this with just a hammer and chisel. Underground civilizations. They have something like this in Mount Shasta. That's why nobody can go there and it's privately owned. They had an expedition that went to Mount Shasta. All them people, adios from this world. Hmm, coincidence? No, they ain't hiding nothing, right? You know, like old American Tartarian buildings. You know, I'm just saying, you like some of your capital buildings are old Tartarian buildings in America. <laughs> all I'm doing is awakening your mind. That's all. Just awakening your mind. Mm hmm. That's, that's pretty huge. Looks like a giant door. For who? Just strange coincidences, right? Right? Nah, that ain't. That's a ship. <laughs> Look up the One World Tartarians by James W. Lee. Go to the Vermonters page. <laughs> if you like this, follow, like, subscribe, and share, baby. Known for capturing wildlife on camera, David's routine woodland walk takes a turn for the eerie. Take a look. Wait a minute. Now, somebody gonna say it's fake to me. I'm gonna say it right now. I don't believe that one was fake. Did you see how fast he just zoomed away? That's my only take. That's my only take. But then he could. Hey, I don't think it's fake. But if it was, he was walking up on it. How many people you know walking up on that? Other everybody was going the other way. If you're in the middle of the, if you're in the middle of the woods, in the middle of nowhere like that, how many people walking up on it like that? Let's be honest. But we made it to the end of this, man. And I appreciate y'all if y'all stuck all the way through. And if you haven't already, please like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell so you always notified, man. When you like and comment on the videos and you subscribe to the channel, it helps the community grow, help the collective get bigger, help people who like this type of content. You know, go ahead and find this type of content. But I ain't gonna hold y'all, man. I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all get out of here. And until I see y'all in the next one, we gone.